there's just so much chrome. Hey guys, it's Martin Cliff here, and uh, this is the first of a short series of videos where we look at taking a Les Paul Traditional uh, 2016, um, which is one of my favorite guitars, and making it a little bit more traditional. And I don't mean vintage, I'm not talking about relicking or anything like that. But one of the things that I don't like about this guitar, um, and I have, have two of them, you may be able to see the other one, kind of a work in, process, in progress at the moment, is that the bridge, the tailpiece, the pickups, even the little bracket that holds the pickguard on, a very, very like modern chrome looking rather than a more traditional looking kind of bits of hardware. So as part of the, this process and also making it sound more traditional, uh, I'm, I'm making some changes to my Les Pauls. So in the first video, I'm just gonna talk about assembling the components. So this is, this is stock, uh, except for the tuners and the output jack. I have a confession that I did buy replacement, um, what do you call it, jack plates, um, but these actually appear to be nickel. I just bought them because I bought, at the same time as I bought everything else. But let's just put that aside and talk about the components. So the first thing was pickups. Um, now I'm a keen supporter of the Guitar Knobs podcast. So for pickups, that was an easy choice. I went with some Brandon Wound pickups. Um, I don't still have these in, in the box but they're his uh, vintage uh, PIF pickups. I've got two pairs of these, one for each guitar, and they're very traditional, original spec, patent applied, patent applied for pickups. So they're supposed to be really, really good. Um, looking forward to them just being a little bit more classic sounding than the 57 plus that is currently in the guitar. And then I wanted to go for a 50 style wiring and wiring harnesses are available from various companies. I looked at um, Gun Street, Obsidian, there were a few others, but the one that was easiest for me to obtain here in Hong Kong was from Emerson Custom. Uh, it comes in a box like this, as you can see, Les Paul long, well you can't because it's too bright, but Les Paul long shaft pre-wired kit, hand wired with pride in Oklahoma. It's the yeah, Emerson Custom Les Paul set. And it comes pre-built on a little card, thing like this. I won't be using the output jack because I'm using my pure tone output jacks. Um, but the rest, you literally undo them from the nuts, um, slot the whole thing into the back of the Les Paul and just solder the pickups to it and solder the output wire. Um, doesn't come with a pickup slide to switch either, which is fine. I'm quite happy with the pickup slide switches that are in the guitars for the time being. For the little bracket to hold the um, pickguard on, I just got a Gibson nickel pickguard bracket. It's nickel, not chrome, so it will age. And it's all about it, it aging over time. And again, the pickups are nickel coated, not, um, not chrome coated. And then hardware, I went with ABM because I was ordering a lot of this stuff from Thoman in Germany and ABM make good stuff. Again, nickel plated brass rather than the chrome aluminium. So this is the bridge. I actually have one of these out already, but I just want to show you how they come. So here we have the, the bridge and, and the tailpiece. Uh, again, you know, quite solid, made out of brass, so much better quality than the really light weight aluminium stuff um, that Gibson are putting on guitars at the moment. And it's quite subtle, but it is definitely a slightly more yellowy color, um, which is definitely what I'm looking for. And again, should age more. So those are the components, uh, ABM hardware, uh, authentic, Gibson pit guard holder, that was a fairly superfluous change. Brandon wire pickups and an Emerson custom wiring harness. As you can see from this guitar, I've started the process. I've actually changed over 
the um, little bracket here um, and I've put in the new posts for the bridge and the tailpiece taking off the pickup rings ready so that I can swap the pickups out more easily taking the knobs off uh, it will be a process um, but the next video I will have done the changes and be able to show you in, in more detail I'll shoot some b-roll as well so you can see the before and after it'll be probably before on that one and then after on this one because then I can maybe if someone is interested do a video of actually going through the process on that guitar maybe in time lapse or something so let me know if you want to see that uh, and then I've also taken the back cover off so you can see um, what the stock setup is it's not great looking uh, it's just mounted to a bit of aluminium it just looks a bit cheap um, it's not very good quality wiring the capacitors are fairly low quality ones so again that all is going to get swapped out um, and then it should be a really really nice Les Paul it's already a nice playing Les Paul but I want it to be something that is a bit more more classic particularly as I'm stopping buying guitars essentially uh, and looking to reduce the amount of stuff that I have I want the stuff that I have to be you know, top notch and um, this seems like a, a sensible way to go about it so yeah my next video will be the continuation of, of the journey I uh, hope this has been of interest so far until then I'll see you soon